All right, so here's where this class gets fun. We get to use everything that we've uh, been learning. We get to use property tables, we get to use boundary work, we get to use U's, H's, uh, to find uh, lots of things. Um, all right, don't try to memorize every single problem that we're doing because the test will be a different problem. Understand the process. Be able to handle anything that I can throw at you. All right, so what if I throw this at you? Rigid tank is divided into two equal parts by partition. Initially, one side of the tank contains five kilograms of water at 200 kPa and 25 degrees C. And you know by now, just because we say water doesn't mean liquid water, right? Uh, it could be superheated, could be mixture. Uh, the other side is evacuated. The partition is then removed and the water expands into the entire tank. Water is allowed to exchange heat with its surroundings um, until the temperature in the tank returns to the initial value 25 degrees C. All right, determine the volume of the tank, the final pressure, and the heat, trans uh, heat transfer uh, for this process. Okay, so initially we've got five kilograms of water, five kilograms, 200 kPa, 25 degrees C. I feel like that's a lot of information that I can find the uh, volume, I can find anything that I wanted to find. Uh, given the pressure and temperature. I'd go to uh, the tables um, and see if it's a mixture, see if it's superheated, see if it's compressed liquid. I could find um, anything I, I wanted to find. All right. Then this, um, the partition is removed and the water expands into the entire tank. So here the water expands freely. My first instinct is, okay, what about boundary work? What about boundary work? Uh, this is the, the, the water is not pushing on a wall and pushing that wall to make that wall move and that wall expand. Yes. If it was pushing a wall, that is boundary work. If it is allowed to freely, um, expand, then there is no boundary work. Okay. So, my boundary is kind of like this the whole time there was a partition it's allowed to expand uh, so this is actually a rigid tank problem rigid tank boundary work equals zero okay so for this any Q plus W I'm gonna have Delta U on the right hand side of my equation okay because it's a rigid tank uh, it kind of kind of thought there might be boundary work, but it's not like it's pushing this partition out of the way. The partition was taken away, and so it's freely allowed to expand. So this W right here would be any other work. Is there any other work? Is there any shaft work? Any um, you know uh, a paddle wheel? We'll look at the next one. You know voltage currents. I don't see any other work right in here. So it's really all the heat transfer that exchanges with the uh, from the surroundings to the um, system equals delta u and what is delta u m u2 minus u1 all right m u2 minus u1 so it might make sense for me to take those two properties and go to the saturated tables to, to try to find U1, all right? So at um, a P1 of 200 kPa, a T1, 25 degrees C, I would go to, or I would start at table A4 or A5, pressure of 200, temperature of 25. So let's go to our property tables. Um, let's go to table A4, A5. I actually like A5. Pressure of, what was our pressure? 200 kPa, right here. Uh, if I was at a temperature of 120, then I would could be saturated. We're at a temperature of 25 degrees C. This is cold. This is cooler. This is a compressed liquid. This is a compressed liquid. So my next stop, is the compressed liquid tables if we have them compressed liquid tables i'm looking for a pressure of 200 kpa this one does it's there it's not on my compressed table 
right? A pressure, I'm um, looking for a pressure of 0.2. We started a pressure of 5. Uh, so what do we do if we can't find on the compressed liquid table? We go to the U at a saturated Va the saturated uh, liquid at the temperature. Let's go back to our notes. Okay, let's go back to our notes. All right, so uh, it's not there. It's a compressed liquid, uh, but it's not on table A7. So then what do I do? I go to the temperature table A4, and I look up UF at the temperature. UF at the temperature from table A4. Property tables. Let's go to the temperature table, which is table A4. The temperature of 25 degrees, my U is going to be closest, that's the best U value we can get, 104.83. 104.83. Now, um, if you didn't know it, we, we would come back to this. Um, did you notice that, that um, it asked, also asked for the volume? Um, I might go ahead and get that VF at the, at temperature. Maybe if if for some reason I needed the enthalpy or the entropy, you know, sometimes it's it's good to kind of once you're at a property table, maybe list a few of the properties. I'm gonna get both the UF and the VF because I'm thinking ahead. I think I'm gonna use that VF to get the volume. All right, so there there are values. Let's go back to our notes. All right, so the UF at 25 degrees C is 104.83 kilojoules per kilogram. The VF at 25 degrees C, 0 0.001003, 0 0.001003 meters cubed per kilogram. All right, so that is my U1. That is my U1. I know... Five kilograms. Okay, so it asked for the volume. Determine the volume of the tank. So initially, let's go ahead and find the... So, uh, yes, I do need to go to U2, but I've got to figure out a way to get there. Um, it asked for the volume. I, I've got the specific volume. I know the mass. I can get the total volume. So... Initially, at state one, uh, if I want the big V, I could take the mass times a little V, make sure my units work out. Five, are we at five? Yes, five kilograms times 0 0.001003 meters cubed per kilogram. Yeah, meters cubed. So 0 0.005 meters cubed. 0 0.005, and it's, it's 0 0.005000, zero, zero. It's, it's a few, right, initially. 0 0.005 meters cubed initially. Yeah, okay, sorry, it said two equal parts, two equal parts. So the V total, or the V2, right, V1 is only half of it, 0 0.005, V total, the V2, the V of the tank, 0 0.01 meter cubed. All right, so I think that's what one thing that I asked for. We'll box that in. But I think I actually needed that. I think I needed that because here's where I'm going. And and sometimes I, I get I get into a bad habit of going places where I don't know where I'm going or why I'm going here. Here's the road map right here. Here's the road map right here. Okay? And so I did all of this stuff because I knew I needed U1. Alright? Now, I need U2. So let me go to state 2. And figure out what do I know about state 2. Do I know the pressure at state 2? No. Uh, it did not say anything about the pressure. It didn't say kept at a constant pressure. So I don't know the pressure. Do I know the temperature at state 2? Yes, it did say it returns to initial value of 25 degrees C. And so that's really all I know about state 2. That's really all I know about state 2. But what have we done all semester 
do we maybe sort of kind of know the specific volume? Yes, we know the mass, 5 kilograms. And if we didn't know this, we would have had to have calculated this. We know the volume, 0.01 meter cube. With those, we know that the lowercase v, big V over M, 0.01 meter cubed over 5 kilograms, V2, 0 0.002 meters cubed per kilogram. 0 0.002 meters cubed per kilogram. All right, so this is what I know. I'm, I'm trying to get here to U2, but to get to U2, I need to figure out where, it, it's probably in a property table somewhere, but which property table, where uh, should I go? If I know the temperature and the specific volume, then first of all, do not, do not, do not use something like PV equals RT. This is not an ideal gas. This is liquid. This is maybe mixture, saturated or not saturated. Uh, so I would start at A4, all right, and see if this V lies in between the VF and the VG. Uh, it does. It does. It is in between VF and VG, so it is a mixture. It is a mixture. Let's go there real quick. Uh, property tables, table A4, temperature of 25. Uh, is it between VF and VG? What was it? 0 0.002. 0 0.002. Yes, it is in between those, so it is a mixture. Uh, so if it asks, I don't think it asks. It, yeah, it does ask, actually. Determine the final pressure. The final pressure, P2, 3.1698 kPa. All right, so P is 3.1698 kPa. Box that in. The temperature of the tank, we answer. All right, and so what we're really trying to get out is the heat transfer. All right, I'm really trying to get you, I'm trying to get you, how can I get you from these? Well, it's a mixture. If it is a mixture, let's calculate quality. Calculate quality. How can I calculate quality with this V, with the VF, the VF, uh, and VG? Let's see, we would say that our V equals VF plus XVFG. I know the V is 0 0.002, the VF 0 0.001003 plus X, and the difference in those, let's go back to our property tables. I don't have this written down. 43, let's see, 43.340 minus 0 0.001003. So a lot of, some professors would have you neglect that 0 0.00103. I, I just like to use it. Let's see. 43.340 minus 0 0.001003. All right, I would get a quality 0 0.000023. All right, it is mostly, uh, at least in mass, it's mostly uh, still saturated liquid. All right, so once I know the quality, then I can find any value. I want U2. That would be UF plus X U. FG. So still at that property table, the UF uh, at uh, 25 degrees C, 104, 104.83 plus quality 0 0.00023. UFG from the property table 2304.3. I would get a U to 104.8. Eight. Really not very much change because not very much X, not very much of a change from the saturated liquid properties. But there we go. We've got U2. We've got everything that we need to find from the energy equation. Q on the left-hand side, delta U on the right-hand side, U2 minus U1. The Q needed would be 5 kilograms 
times 104.88 minus 104.83 Q.25 kilojoules or 250 joules. It came out positive. What does positive mean? Positive means N, QN. That is a heat transfer needed to keep it heated uh, in order to get keep the temperature 25 degrees C. Whew, that was a good one. That was a tough one, but a good one. Let's take a step back and look at what we did. Look at what we did. We saw that it was a rigid tank because it could freely expand. And so we said Q plus W equals delta U, right? Delta U because of a rigid tank and there's no boundary work. But then this W is any other work other than boundary work. Was there a paddle wheel, a shaft? Was there anything adding or taking work out of our system? No. So it's really Q equals delta U. Uh, so I said Q equals mass times U2 minus U1. And I found U2 minus U1 from what had we had been doing previously on in the semester. Going to property tables, figuring out what generally we have two pieces of information that helps us find everything else. For the first state, the two pieces of information were the pressure and the temperature, and I could find everything else. For the second state, the two properties were the temperature, and we had to go through and really think and figure out about how to get this volume and mass. So once I had the temperature and the specific volume, then I could see it's a mixture. I could find everything else. I could find the quality and use the quality to find the U and then use the U right here in our equation. All right. I need a drink.